Hey everyone, um, today I just want to uh, create a quick tip tutorial on how to create a simple animation the, to do basically this. I will explain how to translate this object so that when it rotates this other object keeps staying into the screw thread. Um, I'm, I, I will do this by using drivers. Okay, this is the, the, finished, the finished driver setup. Now I have another collection here that I will use to explain you how, how I um, created this simple animation driver effect. Um, now I will select the, the main object that I want to drive and what I want to do is when I rotate this object around the Z axis I want it to go up and down so that this keeps staying into the, the groove okay now I so I want to use the Z axis rotation, Z axis rotation to drive the Z position of the same object. So I can simply right click on the channel and copy as a new driver, and then go to the value that I want to drive and simply paste the driver. Now you can see that the channel changed color, which in, it means that I cannot edit it directly anymore. As you can see, if I try to edit this value, Blender will tell me that I can I can't edit driver because uh, I cannot edit I can't edit value because this is a driven uh, number. Okay, so how do I edit this? by using the driver which is the Z rotation as you can see if I rotate the the object it will also translate on the Z axis but not in the way I want look if I increase the rotation the Z position will increase as well and if I decrease it the Z position will decrease as well I want it to go up and down so I can Split the window, open the drivers mode, uh, the drivers editor, select my object, select the Z location, which is driven by the rotation. I will just uh, focus on the on the curve, on the F curve, and I can see that it's just like a graph editor. Uh, the difference is that the, the the driver value is not the time but is another value, in this case the Z rotation. Uh, just like F curves, I can create here, if I hit, um, if I open up the, this panel, I can create modifiers on the, on the curve. And in this case, I need my object to go up and down, so I can use a built-in function, and to be precise, I will use a sign function, which is perfect to up and down uh, motions. Okay, so now if I edit, if I increase the rotation on the Z axis, I can see that the object goes up, and then goes down, following the function, which is the sign function. Now what I have to do is to adjust the function so that the object stays into the groove. And I can simply uh, look at the front view and use by eye uh, using the value here so I can see that at a certain point it will go down and then and then it will go up so I can I want to uh, find out where the maximum and minimum values are the, ma the maximum height is when I go to 90 degrees and the minimum is when I go for example at 
260 and 70 sorry degrees and of course for every multiple of these values I will have I will have the maximum and minimum values which are basically the peaks of the functions so once I simply go to 90 degrees I can use the amplitude which defines how wide how height are the peaks or how deep are the valleys so if I decrease the value I can just decrease it until it fits with the until this object fits into the groove and if I now rotate my object it will perfectly follow the, the motion just as I want it so uh, to be able to do this simple setup without uh, messing with the other um, the other parameters of the function like phase of the phase offset phase uh, uh, multiplier and so on I set up my initial the initial position to be exactly in the middle here so as you can see the, this is in the middle of the groove half the uh, the height uh, of the maximum and the minimum of the group so this will um, this has uh, made my life easier uh, when I had to set up this thing I just adjust the amplitude and that's it I hope it helps stay safe